this video I want to talk to you a little bit about the the process of developing our own house point system uh, and our own house point apps for the school um, it was something that we this is actually last summer's project but I guess we're, we're kind of coming towards the end of, uh, of this school year uh, and this has been the first year of actually running this so to you know update a little on, on what we did and, and, and how it's going. So originally um, where we started this, so the school had no house points system in place before and it was a decision, a management decision I guess to, to start to bring that on board. Now um, with that, uh, and I'll show you this isn't my presentation, I apologise for the, 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 the art deco-ness of it, um, but we started to develop this system and, and we obviously had reasons why we wanted to do this um, and to bring into place um, our houses within the school. The um, side of it then is, as far as management, if we were bringing in a house point system at this point, what we didn't want to do was, was to bring in like a, a, an old style paper and stickers or stamp sort of system for student collecting points and then how we collate those back together. So we wanted to bring in something a little more modern. Um, and it was this point, I wasn't actually involved in the original uh, discussion when this started, but uh, it was uh, the school principal then came to me and sort of said, well, you know, is it possible to build this uh, and to try and do it? And look, I've built a few apps before. I've got, I've got a few things on the, on the app store for iOS devices and, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, but I've never actually done those. Those are kind of local apps that, that, that work in their own entity. Never done one that sort of worked with a bigger web-based system um, and, and database to store data and live connections and things. But, you know, I, th I think it's always a reasonable policy when somebody comes to you and says, look, can you do something that, you, you know, you, you kind of say yes to start with. And then, you know, it's only, it's, it's not really a lie. You, you're going to learn how to do that. So um, it kind of prompted me then, I guess, as a, in my learning to, to actually learn how to do this. So I've, I've worked with databases before for websites. I've done a little bit of app development before but but never really tied the two together so uh, the apps uh, themselves and the system I just want to go through a little bit of, of, of how it works so um, in terms of what I what I wanted it to be able to do what, what we really wanted we wanted staff to be able to give house points in, a, in an easy way and be able to track the points that are given and um, allow the students to be able to check their points uh, very easily um, and then instantly and automatically total up points every week um, and then be able to report those back in assembly so we'd have a piece in a, in a Monday's sort of celebration assembly uh, to feed those points back and announce which which house had won each week as we go through um, so as it turns out now so we've got the app itself we can see here so it exists this is, uh, this is an Android version um, and uh, and I've got the iPad here which is probably easier to show um, an iOS version just here so I want to run through how these work and what they actually do and, and what kind of data and things are going on in the background for this now obviously we, we looked before we start developing our own we we looked into other systems we had teachers using things like class dojo which I love class dojo I think class dojo is a fantastic tool but it, it works on an individual class basis it doesn't do sort of collation of points um, across classes and, and lots of other things that we wanted to be able to do so this was the decision that there wasn't anything available that really was going to suit the needs that, that we had so um, I'll show you how it works and, and what it does so if I tap on this one here and it, and it comes in so what we decided in the end was because this is going to be used on a ton of shared devices around the schools so uh, kids are going to pick this up and log in, staff are going to pick up different devices and log in. So we decided not to go with a sort of a, a Google authentication or something like that, which obviously would make sense as a, as a Google school, but, um, but to do it this way. So it's a simple uh, pin code that's entered to actually do it. So I'll show you the student end first, so I'll, I'll just type in uh, off the camera my daughter's... So. As a student logging in, so this is this is my daughter here. So obviously we're coming up towards the end of the year, which is quite nice. So we can we can see along here. There's some different categories uh, in here. So we've got behaviour, effort, attitude, and caring. And these may change um, as sort of 
things that we do within the school have changed a little bit over the year. We, we, we come to look at these and we say, well, you know, maybe effort wants to be something else that we want to bring in here. Um, so you can see the points that she's been awarded here. She gets different awards then as we go through the year. So she gets different amounts then that, 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 that come up. Um, she can view the whole schoolhouse points for the week. So this is how we look for this week. We can see uh, previous wins, we can see last week's winner and how again this week and we see uh, which which team is obviously in the lead at the moment. Um, there's a couple of other bits we threw in as well, just for a little fun really on the on the kids side of it. Oh, we can see which house she's in obviously at the top just here, but a couple of bits. So for some of the younger kids we, we made a, a little virtual pet piece just here. So. Uh, this is my daughter's virtual pet and it saves what they've got and, and all the things so uh, clothes and accessories and hair these are all unlocked as they're awarded more points um, as they as the as they earn them so they start off locked um, and then as they, as they get different amounts you can see at the top her, she's not been taking very good care of her pet so um, we can obviously feed and give it a little feed and something to drink I'm just looking a little sad, really. So you're a little ticked off. There we go. So the kids get to look after their own, and they can choose how they dress and then all the different bits we get, which was quite nice for some of the younger kids here as well. Oh, and the, she's happy. So we can come out of here. We put in a little game as well, just here as well for the kids. So, um, so it's basically again she's unlocked now all of the different characters for this, so she can choose any of these. Uh, any of these characters here and it's basically like a vertical um, not vertical sorry a quite of circular uh, flappy bird type game so if we have a look in here I'm terrible at this yep one um, yeah so they keep going we've got kids with top scores of like 50, 60, not me. Um, and they can choose different characters and go through it. But it was just a little fun to add in. So this is the student end of things, really. So this is what students see. Um, as a web version of this, but I'll show you, I'll show you that in a little bit. But um, so come out of here. So let me log in now as staff. So the interface is very different if you come in as staff. So coming in now, so this is me um, as I come in. So what I get then is an overview of the classes within the school. Um, so I can award points across any classes. Um, I get a running track total. I've actually cleared my points off. I apologise this week. So um, it tells me I haven't awarded any points. But it will give me a running total here um, of points that I've got. Again, I can view the house points for the school just here. Um, and there's, a, there's an admin here at the top. So if a user has admin um, in, their, in their user profile, then they'll see this button. So most teachers don't see this. There's only um, a couple of bits of management and myself who see the admin, um, which enables us to do some other things that I'll show you in a minute. So um, if I take a class on here, what I'm able to do is then see the students in the class. I can see their different points, which houses they're in, um, in here. And, and I can then, if I want to, I could select one student, multiple students. Um, Different, different amounts that I might want to add um, I might want to add points to I can then choose if I wanted uh, to award them points for caring here so I've got three students that I'm going to award um, if I press tick obviously it's going to award those points um, out to them which is which is cool so uh, you can go across and you can award points there quite easily um, in terms of the admin what this does um, I'm blanking this page out because this is obviously all of the teachers and their and what they've awarded um, over the week. But you can I can click through as admin and, and easily see distribution of points, which is useful for us um, in terms of getting a consistent level, I guess, of, of things. Uh, so down the bottom also is the the ability to end the week. So what we've got here then um, is that it will tell us there. So if I end the week, it's going to tell us this house is going to be the winner. Um, and then it's going to show the points and, and who would have done so uh, I would then have to confirm and confirm again if I was going to do that so, uh, so I won't do that for now so um, a couple of other bits and pieces here so we actually have a version of this coming that so it's ready to go actually it's needs to update in the app store so it allows a couple of other things so the ability to um, the ability to 
basically award points without a student. So if you've got like sports events and other things and you want to award house points just to a house without awarding them to a particular student, you can do that. And the very early uh, beta version of our um, of our grouping system so that you can make ad hoc groups in your class um, and award points across groups if you've got sort of particular groups that often work together. Um, a couple of bits so we've got a, a sort of a no sign out button so no timeout uh, which is useful for the shared devices so by default it, it's, it times out um, if people don't touch the thing so it doesn't leave teachers logged in or students and obviously the ability to turn off the sound so um, this is the, the sort of the mobile end of things I guess so for students viewing and for teachers awarding points um, the on the website so we've got a couple of bits here so there's uh, a version that sits inside our um, website here so if I went to house points here so what we've got obviously I can download from the different stores which would take me to the either the the iOS app store um, or the Google Play store hey thank you kids we're running a force <laughs> running a five-star average there uh, I think it's just the kids um, but there's also a student web app here. So this isn't for teachers, this is just a, a student easy login, um, easy login system so they're able to come in. So they get a quick overview on, in the website of the points that are running at the moment for this week, it's the same as what we had. And they can log in as well um, so that they can, uh, I don't know why the keyboard's not working on that, on my setup. Um, so Stephanie can come in there and just see an overview um, of her points at the moment. Can't do any of the other things, there's no games and, and virtual pets in there, but it's just a quick checking system um, so that they can be able to get in and, and obviously able to see the school points. This is linked inside our students um, VLE portal as well, uh, but it's the same, uh, same piece, it's just embedded here um, and embedded on there as well. So that works really quite well. The um, other elements here, so we have a um, we have a version for Mac, so the this is the same as the um, so inside the uh, inside the the Mac version. So this is a native app for Mac. Um, the reason for doing this is it was the native app provided a better tie to the database than the web-based version did because what we wanted to integrate in this was a live view so if teachers they can obviously award from their computer here that's absolutely fine and, and a number of teachers do um, but it also enabled this live uh, version as well so this was nice for display in the classroom so if you wanted to put on a on a projector a, a live um, version if I log in if I log in on here and actually just award a point, what you'll see, um, I'll award Stephanie a point and take it away in a minute. So I'll award a point uh, for effort. So she's in the red team. So what what you will see then in a moment when I award that point um, is once it updates, there we go. So we see a point's now been awarded um, on the red side. And it's a nice live view across the school. Kids like watching it. Um, so we actually have a just this as an Android app as well that we use for digital signage. So um, it just runs purely this. But it's not it's not a published app. It's just a just a local app, app that we we install on uh, on some of the TVs running Android uh, for digital signage around the school. So it just runs live around. So it's quite nice. The kids can walk around and always get an impression of how the week's going. Um, another app here. Now this is what we actually run in assembly. So uh, on a Monday during the celebration assembly what we do, so this will be last week's points, so this can be actually be accessed any time. As soon as the week's been ended this, this app will update itself because it just pulls the data live from the database. Last week's house point results. So it's a little drum roll suspense, so it doesn't roll them out in order, so it rolls them out in just the order that are listed on the house, so you never quite know until you reach the last one, and actually last week it was the yellows that won, so...
So just one that runs in assembly, um, so it's very easy then, so just the computer that's connected to the main projector in the hall, uh, it's just got this as a bookmark, so it just, just runs and then, uh, and then we're able to then announce uh, the winner. So the students don't know because once we've, once we've actually called the winning team, uh, there's actually a little bit of a delay um, in terms of when the students can see that. So we keep about a 10 minute delay on that so that they obviously don't know who won uh, until they actually uh, come down to assembly, which is kind of cool. Um, so, so yeah, so in terms of development on this, so it's, uh, it's obviously a MySQL database running there. The, the sync is all written in PHP. Um, which, which again is relatively straightforward um, just being able to carry data backwards and forwards and obviously queue stuff up um, as need be. The, the front end actually interestingly we actually ended up writing uh, in Game Salads so Game Salads a, a, a development tool we use with students actually for, for developing mobile apps um, which, which is an excellent little tool uh, probably probably the best sort of multi-platform tool that students uh, are able to use to very easily at sort of 11 years old develop a mobile app. Um, so we use that for the front end um, because it has the ability now to talk to um, PHP files then to carry data to databases. So giving it that extra connection is really useful um, because it means that it's not just stuck as a, as a local app. So we can actually use that to very rapidly um, produce the front end pieces. So they actually become a very, very straightforward. So. Um, in terms of development for this sort of thing, um, I mean, as I say, it, was, it wasn't something that I particularly had that much knowledge of before we started, um, but it's not ever so complicated, really. It's um, the difficult bit, the front end's not tough, the, and all the graphical side of it. The difficult bit, really, is, is getting the, the system tied together with the database. So um, we host we host a number of our web apps using DigitalOcean, which is which is a very cool service to to very quickly create hostings and using their droplets and and pre-installed little apps there, um, and then obviously hosted within there, we then have um, a MySQL database then that that sits and links live to the app when uh, when teachers are logged in. Um, the biggest issue I guess with that was the ability to. Uh, not overlap each other. So, one of the one of the bigger problems with um, with doing this is if you've got multiple users logged in at the same time that are trying to adjust that database, then uh, then that can cause issues. So, um, a lot of fail safes in place to stop people um, kind of mucking each other's uh, login up or, or the number of points on there. So it's a constantly updating um, system that will, when you award a point, it actually locks out all users from being able to actually award one. It's not noticeable to the, to the, to the user, it just kind of queues their request um, until after uh, the, the last one's been executed. So that way we don't end up with points going, uh, going missing. In terms of uh, what we're going to do. Uh, we've got a few other bits and pieces, this is old stuff actually, but we've got a few other, other bits and pieces that uh, that we're looking at in terms of development with this that we want to be able to do. Um, feedback from teachers as well uh, on, on what they want and and any issues that they encounter along the way, but it's been shockingly smooth. Uh, we've had zero downtime uh, on it, so, so DigitalOcean has done a good job there. Uh, and actually, after the first like week or two of rollout, where we had you know occasional bugs here and there, uh, that's that's now we've been we've been bug free since then, which is really cool. What was nice having all the students log in is that many of those did a lot of the bug testing for us. So it was kind of it was it was a good learning experience with students, so if they found a bug they'd report it to me and then it was cool, so I'd be able to call them in then and actually physically show them um, either in the code or, or explain, if it was a bit too complicated for them, explain what it is that's causing the bug um, and, and how they can understand that and, and what, what happens. So uh, we had a lot of that in the first sort of week or so I think from, from when we actually launched. Uh, nothing show stopping but just uh, little bits and pieces that we noticed that weren't quite right uh, in different places. So, so yeah, really, really pleased with it so far. Um, as I say, we nearly completed the first year. Uh, updating, fortunately, we, we did design updating for next year to be pretty straightforward, so there shouldn't be any major issues with rollover into the next school year as, as the kids all move up. Um, but yeah, so keep going on it and, and keep doing some more bits and pieces, but, but yeah, we've been really happy with it.